okay, it's time to start adding some products. So you go into catalog, then categories slash products. Now the reason why you have categories and products is for example, just say you sold household items. So you might have a category called kitchen and one called bedroom. And then you would have products that sort of sit under those categories because obviously you don't want to sort of lump kitchenware and bed sheets together because that would be silly. Okay, so let's just create a category. Let's click on category. Category name can be, I don't know, let's just go kitchen in here. Just a brief description. I get a bit excited. Okay. You can attach an image to this if you want to. Um, I've got clients who prefer not to, so you know it's really totally up to you whether you put one in. Um, if you don't, that's fine. Just go save. Now you can either add a new category or let's let's add a new category. I can't even spell today. Okay, and again, you don't have to add a photo if you don't want to, although under the actual products, I suggest you do. Okay, so we now have bedroom and kitchen. Now just say we want to add some bed sheets in. Click on bedroom. And you can add a product. see we're actually back there let's go back you can add a new category or a new product so that category would end up being a subcategory of bedroom so it might be bedroom slash I don't know <laughs> mine might be bed sheets and the next one might be pillowcases or something like that anyway we'll just add products in this particular case okay so you can use the Zencart as a bit of a stock management program as well which is really good so in here the date it's come available so just say you've got some stuff coming in but it's not due in for a week you can choose a future date products name we're in bedroom so let's go now if you're here in Australia you've got to pay GST um, but if you don't have tax to worry about then obviously leave that as none Okay, let's just say it's $12. Um, okay, virtual product. Now, virtual product might be like a digital ebook or something like that. So, you can sell non physical products here, but personally, I think physical, this is ideal for physical products. <coughs> okay, shipping with a virtual product, you'd obviously have free shipping. Um, but if you've got a physical product, you nearly always pay. Okay, quantity box. So you might have a certain number of items available. So just say you have 20 in your stocks or something like that. So actually, no, just bear with me. <laughs> For a virtual item, there's no real, well, it's a downloadable product. So you don't need to have like order two of them if you want to because you just print it off twice. Get what I mean? So yeah, so physical products, I'd always put a yes. Virtual, I'd put a no. Okay, quantity minimum, obviously the minimum they could order is one, maximum is unlimited depending on how many they want. Um, and here <coughs> is a description of the individual product. Now, products quantity, this is how many you have in stock. Okay, now what this does, is count down every time someone buys one of those products it reduces the number that's held in stock so it will let you know when your stocks are getting low how cool is that okay let's add a file let's just stick a picture of me in there which is a bit scary but anyway it'll do you may have pro um, pictures saved on URLs somewhere on another website um, you also have the option to put the weight of the product in there which is going to help you with shipping 
and also the sort order but we're not going to worry about that so you click on preview I don't know if you can see that I'll just move this over a bit see that no, preview will cancel so we'll go preview okay very dodgy photo of me but then we go insert okay now go back this way so you can see here there's your product now if we go into our send cart properly look at this you're gonna be so shocked and amazed Ta -da! funny looking pillowcase but anyway and then you can click on that add it to your cart that sort of thing so how cool is that so what you need to do then is go back keep adding your products then you can go back to your categories add something into kitchen new product just do a quick run through show you what two looks like that in there leave all that put another picture in oh let's put something a little less scary in there Okay, and then we'll preview. You're probably not going to be able to see this next bit when it comes up, unless I slide my screen over. Oh, just see, hang on. Waiting, waiting. Okay, and there it is. I'll just insert that one as well. We'll slide back over to the left. Okay, so now when we go to here, go to the home page, and you'll see here that Zencart's automatically categorized the two products. I've got two lots of products there. It's my Aussie million dollar note. I've got a few of those. <laughs> Funny looking knife, but hey, but that'll give you an idea of what it can look like. Now, this has zero, I didn't change the number of units in stock, so what it's done is automatically stuck a sold out um, sign on there, so that's pretty good, isn't it? Fabulous, that's it for now.